Hey, it's Kayleen here, I'm Kayleen and Mark from Kmart Creations, and today our video is going to be about Dubai. So we did a two night stopover on our way back from Europe, coming back from Frankfurt, and this was our first time flying Emirates, and it was our first time flying business class, which was absolutely gorgeous. They make you feel so special. They give you that little brown goodie bag, which has, you know, all the beautiful products in it. Uh, great keepsake bag. I should have actually videoed and opened it and seen what it was like inside. Real glasses with beautiful champagne or cocktails. The staff are just so super, super friendly. And there was just so much leg room as well, because for Mark, he is rather tall. He's about six foot seven. So this was just super, super comfy for him. But what we really want to tell you about is what we did in those two days, given it was our first time in Dubai and we wanted some adventures. So let's see what we're off to. So we got ourselves a driver and said, we want to see some sights. So we went past some of these fancy buildings. I mean, they are just everywhere. And this was on our way to the Dubai Mall. And this is a huge aquarium they've got inside the actual mall. It's amazing. And of course, you can't even fit this into the camera in one hit. This is Burj Khalifa, one of the tallest buildings in the world. Fantastic. So of course, we had to take a tour to the top. And this is at the bottom showing you you go through and they've got fantastic video footage along. It's so, so well done. So here's a little bit of information you need to know. So some of the world records at over 828 meters and more than 160 stories, Burj Khalifa holds the following records. The tallest building in the world, the tallest freestanding structure in the world, the highest number of stories in the world, the highest occupied floor in the world, the highest outdoor observation deck in the world, the elevator with the longest travel distance in the world, and the tallest service elevator in the world. So there's a few little statistics for you. So not only is it the world's tallest, but it has been broken into two other impressive records. Tall structure previously held by the KVLY TV mast in Blanchard, North Dakota, and the tallest freestanding structure previously held by Toronto CN Tower, which we have been there too. And the Chicago based Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat has established three criteria to determine what makes a tall building. Burj Khalifa wins by far in all three categories. When you get to the top, the views are incredible, as far as the eye can see. And then they have these really cool binoculars that you can point at a certain area and you can press the button and it can show you what it was like before and then historically and then you can see it by day, by night. So if you watch this one, you can actually see in a second it changes to what it is like now. So that's a really cool feature they've got there as well. So once we came down from Burj Khalifa, we then came outside here, this is outside the Dubai Mall, and this is where the, we witnessed the tallest performing fountain in the world. This fountain is just incredible, it's submerged within the 30 acres of Burj Lake at the foot of the mall, and the water jets laid out strategically over an area equal to the size of say two football pitches. The fountain jets up to 22,000 gallons of water, as high as 140 metres in the air at any one time. Now I don't remember what time of day this was, but according to the website now, the fountain comes, on to, comes to life every 30 minutes from 6pm daily. It reminded us of being in Las Vegas outside the Bellagio Hotel and seeing their fountains. And look, I'm not sure statistic wise, but this is a huge area as well. So then we headed on out for our Dubai Desert Safari four-wheel drive adventure. Now this was something that we booked in Australia before we left with our fantastic travel agent Martine who organised everything. I'll put the link down below as well with her details. 
fantastic specialist. Now, we went with a group, you didn't know who you were going to get, so there was another couple and then another single lady, really nice people, but one of the couples, the lady, she gets motion sickness, so of course she was allowed to sit in the front. Now, given that my poor husband Mark is six foot seven, he was like crumpled up and folded up in the back seat, and the driver will drive for the comfort of everyone. So we wanted a little bit more adventure, because as you can see, it goes up and down and to the side, and it was a heap of fun. And we would have rather have paid and said, we'll just have the four wheel drive to ourselves. It would have been really, really worth it because then you don't have to worry of someone going, oh, we're, oh, we're a bit scared, I wanna do this. You've got that comfort on your own. Fantastic area. You know, the views are fantastic. Just so much fun. So on this tour, we were picked up from our hotel and then we were taken to the first area which of course had like a lot of souvenirs and you could buy and that's where we got the hat and the little turban type thing that Mark has on his head. And then you go for your four wheel drive ride, it includes soft drinks, water, tea, coffee, you then go to a campsite located in the heart of the desert. And there you can choose from other activities of there's a camel ride among the dunes and then you try you can have try hand at henna painting and then while you relax in the comfort of a pillow strewn tent there's a delicious barbecue that's prepared for you and it's all under the starless sky it's absolutely gorgeous So this is where our campsite was and to make the evening truly a memorable event we had a belly dancer who danced to the rhythm of Arabic music. So it was a lot of fun, you can see where the carpeted area was and we were sitting beside there. So fun was had by all. If you made it this far in the video thank you so much for watching and supporting our channel we'd love if you haven't subscribed make sure you hit the subscribe button hit like uh, we'd love you to leave a comment if you've been to Dubai and you've done one of these safaris we'd love to hear from you have a great day